Machiavelli Mills TV. So the Los Angeles Lakers defeated the Washington Wizards by a score of 130 to 119. And you gotta, you man, Anthony Davis has been playing out of his damn mind. Like out of his mind. He's been playing like he is the best player in the NBA right now. For the past 10 games, I don't, I don't, I don't know nobody having better stat lines, better stat lines than that brother. And they've been winning the majority of their games, albeit against lesser competition. But that performance against the Milwaukee Bucks, absolutely phenomenal. Like, phenomenal. Like, that's when you're looking like, yeah, that's the AD we expected. He's been looking transcendent, all-time great, you know, these past this, you know these past 10 games, right? Tonight, the brother finished with 55, a double nickel, 17 rebounds, and shot like 74% from the floor. Shot a, like, amazingly high percentage from the field, right? And we all need to give him his credit, especially for, you know, people criticizing him, so on and so forth. Basically calling him street clothes, <clears throat> saying that, you know, he's not reliable. Trade him, trade him, trade him. But the unsung hero from tonight's basketball game, Russell Westbrook. I got to give all respect to Russell Westbrook for so many different reasons. You know, from last year when Russell was, everybody was basically saying, trade Russ. Get him the hell up out of there. He's no good for this team. You can't win a championship with that brother. <clears throat> he's slowing everything down. He takes ill-advised shots. His IQ is not, the, is not the greatest. It's terrible at times. We need to move on. You need to move on from Russell Westbrook. For all of the flack and criticism he's taken, even at the beginning of the season, before the, before the season started, I'm watching his brother play. He's playing so much better this year. Like, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. And not in, the terms of, not in terms of scoring, facilitating the basketball, um, managing the game properly, you know, um, going with the pace of the game, dictating the pace of the game at times, knowing when to score, when to be aggressive to score, and when to feed the high hand. You know, just like all around, man, I'm looking like he getting 80, all these high percentage shots to where he's shooting 74%, giving him right to it on the money, dropping off dimes to that brother, dropping off dime bags to the, dime bags to the brother like he my man A Boogie from paid in full. And I'm like, that's what I'm talking about, Russ. Like, See, to me, man, it says a lot about a person when they are heavily criticized and scrutinized, right, to the heavens, like Russell Westbrook has been for a majority of his career, but in particular, in his first season with the Lakers, it was abysmal, right? It was times where he played terrible, but other times where I felt like he was just being, he was just, he, he, just, he just became the scapegoat for the Lakers and how terrible the season was going all the way around from coaching decisions, players, other star players playing bad at times. <clears throat> and the blame fell majority on Russell Westbrook. AD wasn't showing up at times. LeBron had have an off game. And it was somehow always just Russell Westbrook's fault, right? From having that happen to you and having to endure that type of criticism and that type of light, <clears throat> I mean, just people just piling on, piling on, piling on. Like, I'm watching him play now, and I'm happy for him. I'm happy and proud of him. For real, he's really playing some good basketball. And he accepted a role off of the bench, which I know is hard for certain players to do, especially when they're a former MVP in this league and they were once a franchise player. You know, like, I'm like, man, Russ is really looking great. He's not worried about scoring 20 a game, 25, you know, putting up a certain amount of threes a game. He's worrying about, look, I'm trying to put my team in the best position to win. If this guy is hot, I'm going to get him the ball. I'm going to push the ball up the floor. I'm going to put, you know, pressure on the defense, leave a guy on his heels, and I'm going to either try to score the ball, be a threat to score, or I'm going to find an open man. I'm going to be, a, I'm, at times, again, it's going to be my job to die for loose balls, to do the dirty work on this team. I'm the third option. Sometimes people think of not the third option doing the dirty work, the guys at the end of the bench. But he's like, no, nah, I'm willing to scratch and claw and do whatever I got to do to win. At the end of the game, when they was playing uh, Milwaukee, there's a play where Russell Westbrook is diving for the ball on the floor. He's diving for the ball, right? And he gets to the ball and, and, and you know, basically boggles it or whatever, or, you know, basically knocks the ball a little loose in some, in some way, intercepts the pass. LeBron James picks it up, goes to the basket, drops it off to Anthony Davis for a great dunk, right? <clears throat> but that was all started by Mr. Russell Westbrook. You got to excuse my, my um, I don't know, I'm feeling like, I don't know. I feel like I'm losing my voice a little bit or whatever, right? Um, but 
all of that was initiated from Russell Westbrook's hustle and how he's just being relentless on the defensive side of the ball. I mean, just diving for loose balls like he's a guy trying to make the roster. And that shows me a different commitment from that brother. That brother really want to win. He really want to be a part of a championship team and want to get that monkey off of his back that you can't win with him. Right? You can't win. Like people say, you can't win with him as the point guard. <clears throat> right? You can't win with him while he's on your team and he's playing significant minutes. And he's trying to show you, I beg to differ. Because those guys, all three of them have been playing well together. Russ ain't been turning the ball over like crazy. It's been looking good. You know, and, and Russ been getting LeBron the ball, AD the ball. They've been flowing well together for, for some games now. And I'm like, wow, man, I got to salute that brother. For real. I honestly don't think the Lakers should trade Russell Westbrook. I don't. I now think they don't. They shouldn't trade him. Because now they got some momentum, and basketball is a game of momentum, right? He's understanding his role. He's under, He understands who he is, who he isn't right now, and he's he's buying into it. And when a guy is bought in, you got to be all in with him. You got to be all in with him because this could bode well for your team. There's going to be times where LeBron might be a little nicked up. <clears throat> he might need a breather. AD might need a breather, so on and so forth, right? And somebody has to be on the, on the floor to put pressure on the defense. That guy is Mr. Russell Westbrook because he can drive to the basket with the best of them, put his head down and bulldoze to the rim, get an and one or get just a foul to go get two free throws or just simply score the ball for two, right? Um, but just is extremely proud of how he's conducted himself and how like he's handled this with such grace and um, pure class, he's being tactful with it. Even though I'm, I know he don't want to come off the bench, and I know a bench player is never something he aspired, he aspired to be, but he recognized what this team needs to win, and he like, look, I got to prove my worth and show my value and show that I'm a guy who can take a lesser role to a certain degree coming off of the bench and still make some shake <clears throat> and still string together good games where you got to like, you got to recognize my impact. He's playing like that, man. Like, and I have to voice how proud I am of him and how happy I am for him because, you know, my thing is this. I criticize Russ, right, on this channel. And <clears throat> I recognize that the praise, the praise has to be just as loud as the criticisms. Simple as that. The praise has to be just as loud as the criticisms. So I criticize Russell Westbrook heavy. He balling out of his mind right now and is the rate a big reason why the Lakers are winning games with this playmaking ability. It's it's been phenomenal, it's been sensational. I'm looking like damn, like you know, Russ could have been playing like this for a while, but sometimes different circumstances and situations open your eyes to certain things and recognize I need to make a change. I need to make a change for the better, to put me in a better position, to possibly maybe get another deal either with the Lakers or somewhere else, and just prove my worth by trying to win a championship. And so for a guy that was like such a alpha type male within the sport realm, he had to be the top dog. He had to be the driving force. He had to be the first option. He had to be the one, the, the, the soldier, the, the ultimate dog on his team when other guys weren't, right? Now it's, it's like, man, bro, I don't, I don't know, man. Like, uh, um... I, I, I don't know, man. I, I'm, I'm just thinking about all of this, man. I'm just happy. I'm happy how Russell was playing, man. I'm just happy how he playing. You know, um, you know, to to take to take a step back away from that role, like like I was describing, him having to be the dog, the alpha male, him having to beat his chest. He's in a role where he recognized, listen, I don't gotta do that no more. Yeah, I, I can be the dog and be the the, the top dog and be the goon. But I got some other dudes that's with me that's goons too. They can play like goons on any given night. So what can I do? The best, the best thing I can do is, is to put those guys in position to get easy baskets, to get high percentage shots, which will bowl well for our team winning. And <clears throat> a lot of times when guys see you getting them high percentage shots, they give you the ball back and say, you go ahead and rock out. Do your thing, shorty. Go ahead, go ahead. Do your thing. Do your magic. I appreciate you getting me the rock in good position for me to score so that, you know, I can get, do my thing, get good numbers and, you know, keep us in this game and keep us afloat. So all respects <clears throat> to Russell Westbrook. Outstanding job, brother. I'm extremely proud and happy for him. Machiavelli Mills TV.
Lakers don't need to trade him now. I'm out. Peace.